Hey guys, and welcome to River Raven Collects. Today we are looking at Nightmare Spawn. So this was the one that was released in 2022, not the much older, better looking one. <laughs> I think we're all hoping that we're gonna get that old one because um, it is ridiculously expensive if you want to pick it up. I came pretty close. Someone had it for 300 and yeah, looking back on it, I really wish I had picked that up for 300, but um, anyway, we're here to talk about this one, not the old one. But yeah, he's a very interesting looking one, obviously very different from that older one, even very different from the artwork we've got on the back of him as well. But nonetheless, I'm sure this is gonna be a interesting and well detailed figure, just like the rest of the McFarlane toys. So let's get him out of his box and check him out. All right, guys. So I almost forgot to check out the box. We were just gonna unbox him without actually checking out the box. But anyway, this is the style that McFarlane Toys has gone for recently with this box design. I really like it. Um, it really, you know, puts the figure like at the forefront and no fancy stuff. So it is quite nice, I think. But yeah, um, He's looking quite interesting in there. I suppose we'll get into it in a bit. Whoops, sorry about that glare, that's horrible. But um, yeah, Nightmare Spawn. We've got an image of him on the side and uh, the, th the thing is about this compared to this is does that look the same to you? Because it doesn't look the same to me. Oh, I'm so sorry about that glare. But um, yeah, it, it doesn't look the same um you can see that even the horns like aren't the same so i don't know how to feel about that um it's it's a bit disappointing i think that we kind of have this very undetailed figure and then we have the art that apparently is based off of so i don't know but let's look on the back here so we've got the big artwork and also got like some people <laughs> some dead bodies down below. Um, I'm not going to zoom in on them because I think YouTube probably wouldn't like that, but we've got someone here with their heart ripped out. Uh, he, this guy over here is like a stepping stone, so we're not going to zoom in on that. But yeah, uh, it just, it doesn't look like him, does it? <laughs> it looks more like the, uh, the old one, to be honest. I love that old one, I really need to get him, but go to the side with spawn. So that's essentially that. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you, how do you guys feel about it? You let me know. But anyway, let's get him out of his box. Oh yeah, before we get him out, I thought, you know, I'll do my usual complaint. We've got this huge crease here. Amazon actually didn't send this in a box. And, you know, usually when they're sending it in a box, um, it's pretty bad anyway. Usually all of my boxes have been dinged up, right? But um, yeah, this one was just sent in one of those paper bags. So it's got a huge crease through here. If you're an inbox collector, I just honestly cannot recommend that you buy them through Amazon, particularly if you want them to be pristine because Amazon just isn't doing it for whatever reason. But anyway, that aside, Let's get him out of his box here. So here he is. Uh, can I say that he looks worse actually getting him out of his box? <laughs> Sorry guys, usually I'm not like so negative about a figure, but I also want to be honest. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, this is the best, right? But anyway, let's clip him out of his thing. So here he is. His stand's still in the box. I'll get that out in a minute because I think he's going to need it. He's not going to stand on his own. So yeah, very interesting looking spawn. Obviously, the face is probably the best part of him and even that's got like I think it's got just too much paint on it and that's what I'm kind of noticing with the figure as a whole that there seems to be too much paint application and none of these details are really really 
getting amplified like they should be and standing out. So, also got a bit of red on his arm. Uh, to be honest, again, I don't know why they bothered with this because they seem to have made him like a really, like almost monotone color, just having him all gray and then they decided to make his arm red. Um, yeah, you know, I do apologize guys. I am just, I'm not really impressed with this one. Um, I think the sculpt looks reasonable, particularly the face looks really good, right? The rest of him doesn't look that great and I can kind of envision what they were going for. Like these shoulders and stuff look really, really cool. And if you can line these shoulders up, I think that it does look reasonable. We've got these nice wings, of course, which do look quite good as well. Um, however, like touching him and feeling him, he feels like really cheap plastic um, compared to what I'm used to with McFarlane, even the old figures and the new ones. Yeah, he feels really cheap. But anyway, maybe uh, I'll, I'll uh, go through his articulation and stop kind of reviewing him and we'll talk about it a bit later. But yeah, this is a interesting figure. All right, so articulation. We have the head that swivels around quite well, actually. Go all the way around. So we've got those ball joints in the shoulders. They don't look as well developed as the ones that we're kind of used to. They don't have that inner ring, uh, but they work quite well. We've got one in the bicep there, and then we've got the double joints on the elbow. We've got some in the chest, none in the waist. It looks like the waist was intended to be moved, but the way that they've done it, it can't be moved, unfortunately. And then we've got the standard legs that we're kind of used to. Um, again, it's probably this, uh, not what you call this, his like hip piece. I was going to call it a diaper, but I shouldn't call it that. <laughs> but this hip piece um, seems to be blocking most of the movement. And I think that's why it's not moving that stomach one and also blocking the legs here. So we've got the double joints in the knees as well. And then we've just got the ankle and the feet. Wow, the feet have some range on them. That was a bit of a surprise, but yeah, that's essentially that. The wings don't move and I would not, oh no, they do move, my mistake. So they are actually on ball joints. I thought they were just stuck in there, but yeah, that's nice. You can't really pose them in any other way though, so. I'm just gonna keep mine like that, I think. Maybe they'll look better back, but I'm just taking up more room on the shelf, so probably just gonna stay like that. But anyway, guys, let's jump over to the showcase and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Alright guys, that has been our look at the 2022 Nightmare Spawn. So, yeah, I do apologise that I've sounded like quite negative through this video. Um, but I also do want to give my honest opinion and I think that the sculpt is actually reasonably good. The face is really good. The wings are, you know, adequate. But I think that... He definitely needs a better paint job. That's the biggest problem I see with him. There are just nothing here is bringing forth those details. Like if you compare him 
to Omega Spawn, who is essentially like a demon type character as well, right? Um, Omega Spawn has like dry brushes and stuff over the top of all of his little horns and stuff, and that would have really brought this figure to life. But the way that he is now, he is just like, he feels so dead. Like, He's all one colour, we've kind of got this orange thrown about through his wings and in other parts, but it's it's nothing, like, yeah. I think that this guy needs a dry brush over those horns and stuff just to bring them out a bit more. And again, I will bring it up because I bring it up all the time, as some figures are getting washes and other figures aren't getting washes. This is one that if they had gone a slightly lighter um, plastic over his whole build, right? And then added a wash, added a dry brush over the top of all this, he would look really good. Like, he would look exceptional. But unfortunately with this one, we've just got the one coloured plastic and they haven't really done too much to it. Uh, it is really disappointing considering... The old Nightmare Spawn is so highly sought after, and then they bring out this one, and I remember the hype around Nightmare Spawn getting re-released, and this is kind of what we're left with, so... Essentially, I am a little bit bi biased, considering that I love that old one so much and really want to get it, and then we get this, so... Yeah, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but... You know, I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Maybe your figure came out better than mine, but yeah, I am pretty disappointed with this. Um, his only redeeming factor is he can actually stand quite well without the stand, which uh, we don't often get from the new McFarlane figures. But, you know, in saying all these negative things, I do like him. He's not going to get thrown out or anything. He is still going to get displayed. I think that the potential here is what I can see. And that's what I'm most disappointed with because he hasn't reached his full potential. So, yeah. I am going to keep him because I do like most aspects about him. Like, the face sculpt is still reasonable. But, yeah, just uh, it's just lacking those little details that it really could have used. So, yeah, I, I do like him <laughs> despite what I've been saying. But, yeah, I am quite disappointed with his execution, I think. But anyway, guys, you let me know what you think of him down in the comments. Is this one you picked up? Does your one look better? I'd really like to know. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like on this video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1,000 by the end of the year, but I'll need your guys' help to do that. So anyway, guys, this has been a review of Nightmare Spawn from 2022. And I'll see you on the next one for the next review. Alright guys, one last thing here, so I was literally about to put him away and start editing this video, right? Uh, I got his stand out because, you know, I'm not going to throw away the stand, and I thought, well, I'll just put it on him, right? And his feet, his feet don't even fit in there, so thank goodness he can stand on his own, but my goodness, McFarlane Toys, what happened here? What happened? He can't even fit on there. So, the peg hole is just too big. He d his foot just will not go on there, and you can't do it with the other one either. Goodness me. So, yeah, my goodness. Um, that is rather annoying. Uh, did you guys have this same problem, or did yours fit on there? Well, but why even include the stand? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop complaining. I'll see you guys on the next one.